I started recruiting Bronson as a freshman in high school as an assistant. Eight years of watching him grow and develop and now he's taking on more of a social activism role with the pipeline in North Dakota. My nationality is 50% German, 50% Ho-Chunk Native American. The Dakota Access Pipeline is a 15, 1700 mile pipeline running from North Dakota to Illinois. The reason that there were protesters or protectors, as I like to call them, is because it was running through Sioux land and sacred burial grounds and also because it was running through the Missouri River, putting millions of people's water supply at risk. I felt a calling to stand up and give back to my people any way I could. Bronson Koenig from La Crosse, Wisconsin. We just drove 13 hours to get here. Cannonball, North Dakota. Shout out Ho-Chunk Nation. Since I was there, I mean, there's been a lot of things that have gone on that I see on Twitter and Instagram. People being sprayed by really cold water and 15 degree temperatures. Most recently, the Army Corps of Engineers I think signed a bill not allowing the pipeline to be built through that area anymore. So now they're going to have to find an alternate route. The latest developments are a little bit of both a victory and a temporary kind of thing. I'm a little skeptical still, but I mean, it shows you what peaceful protesting, and believe me, I was there, it was peaceful protesting, can do for you and what it can accomplish. I take it upon myself to be the best role model I can be for my people and, you know, just do what I can in my free time, like going to North Dakota and putting on the free basketball clinics. Here you go, here you go, here you go. My mom really drove me to be a role model ever since I was uh, probably a freshman in high school when Native Americans would start coming to my games. Go out to him, figure eights, you guys may have done this before. But since we can't dribble, we'll just go out like this. She would always urge me to go talk to them and thank them and show them my gratitude for coming and supporting me. I'd like to see the Bronson. Thank you for coming and supporting our youth. Not only our youth for starting off, but all the youth that's here helping down at the camp. I was put on this earth for a specific purpose play the game of basketball to the best of my ability and also inspire people and motivate people that are gonna come after me. As Native Americans, we need people like that to inspire our youth.